Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It is about learning to dance in the rain. Mm. How if we could live life with the metaphor of dance? How if we go through life feeling and thinking, what is life leading me into becoming? Today, I was trying to make this video. I was thinking about it. I, you know, I made a beautiful draft and it just didn't work. So I said to myself, why don't you take your own medicine? And I did. And I just started enjoying my beautiful house, looking at the flowers, looking at the pillows, looking at the plants, just connecting with beauty, connecting to my own body, connecting to my own heart. And what is really fun is that my daughter comes for lunch every day. And I was just connecting to her that she was going to come. And you know what happened? She did it. She went to have lunch to the house of a girlfriend of hers. And then everything just became clear to me. I started dancing with life. So life started dancing with me. Inspiration was starting to come to my heart. Then inspiration, life brought my daughter to a beautiful, safe place so that I can now talk to you. Things are happening for you. Life is happening for you. Delays are perfect moments for something else. Our times of reflection are times for growth. Distractions delays, distractions, rejection is the language of life telling you specifically how you need to move differently. You don't need to live in frustration forever. If you are frustrated about something, you can do something. And it's precisely not what you are doing. <laughs> oh, Einstein was a scientist, but was also a great philosopher, a spiritual man. He told us that to repeat the same thing over and over again was a very bad idea, was the recipe of continuing getting the very same result that you are not wanting. So now that you land in this video, hmm. Take a deep breath in and feel the feeling that led you to this video. What triggered? Frustration, anger, jealousy, comparison. What is the thing that triggered you? Mm. Give it a big thanks. Because this frustration, anxiety, whatever is what you're feeling, it is warning you that the direction that you are going and the method that you are using is not the adequate for you. Thank you so much for being there for you to save you. <laughs> Just until you are grateful for the so-called bad things, you could open a space for what you're really wanting. Hmm. So as you inhale, Exhale, create empty space for what you are wanting to receive. What are you wanting to receive? An idea? The help of somebody? What is what you are wanting? And release the idea that you need to know how. Release the idea that you need to know the process, the method towards the solution. Let the guidance, the beautiful guidance of your body guide you to where you need to go, guide you to the person you need to talk to. 
let your body be that bridge that connects you to your consciousness with your full wisdom and authority. Take a deep breath in and really imagine that your brain, your heart, and your gut, everything that lives in your gut, is aligned. The three of them are just one. The three of them are your inner authority. Connect with that. For this moment and whenever you want during the day, when you are in that state of peace, you are going to get inspiration. Inspiration of mm, sometimes very simple things like eat, go to the toilet, sleep, really take distance, go for a walk. When you take distance and when you relax, scientists and spiritual people tell us that the brain works in a completely different way. It's when we are able to connect with our own wisdom, it's when you are going to connect with the field of consciousness and you are going to receive the guidance on what is what you have to do or what would be the path that will take you the fastest to where you want to go. And it will not be what your very beautiful, intelligent, rational brain tells you to do. So let yourself be guided by your real wisdom. So, the process. Notice. Notice that you are in frustration. Notice that you are not dancing with life. Just notice. Stop, take a deep breath in, become aware of what's happening in your body. Do you need something very fundamental like a glass of water? <laughs> Just notice these very fundamental things. Once you are in a more or less a stable situation, like you slept or you went to the toilet, <sighs> ah. align your brain, your heart and your uh, God, align them, make them one. Make them one with your imagination, make you them one with your thinking, and let them guide you. Let them guide you to the next step. And feel it. Feel how you will not have frustration, anxiety, and things are going to flow easy. Would you like to dive deeper into this work? Make it consistent get into a gym of listening to your wisdom instead of being distracted to what they, they, and they tell you to do. Well, be connected to what your own inner authority tells you to do, guides you, also inspires you to do. You are invited. I have created a four weeks course that I'm giving away for free called Heal Your Relationship with Work. And it's everything about that, divorcing those shoes and falling in love with your own inner guidance. And you're going to be so surprised by the blessings that you're going to get from this. It's going to be translated into ease and flow in all areas of your life. The link is below. I hope you join us. It'll be my pleasure to, hmm, to see how you break those upper limits that are past news. Have a wonderful week. All the best.